This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, March 1st, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Finis Monitor. Today, we'll talk to Stanford University star Eugene Godso. The senior backstroker leads the Cardinal into the Men's Pac-10 Championships later this week in Long Beach, and he joins us right now in the Finis Monitor from his dorm room at Stanford. Eugene, how you doing? Good. How you doing, Peter? Good. What's the Stanford dorm room look like these days? Um, well, they're pretty small here. Uh, we're pretty cramped for space, but it's a, it's a pretty nice setup. And you've got some nice uh, NCAA hardware behind you, I see. Yeah, I try. I keep them around. <laughs> Just in case the lady's over there. Yeah, exactly. Well, you are in the zone right now. You are having a great season. Is it? Uh, I mean, what's going on? Is it just everything coming together at the right time? Yeah, pretty much. It's taken me, you know, three years, but I've, I've finally started to figure out college swimming. Um, you know, just kind of added added improvements every year, and I think it's kind of culminated into a really good season this year. Yeah, it's funny how that happens sometimes. I mean, it takes a little time to adjust. I mean, you were if not the biggest, one of the biggest high school names coming out. Um, and you've had, you know, very, you've had a lot of success there, but not quite to your potential, you would agree. Right, yeah, coming out of high school, you know, I was really looking forward to freshman year of college, but I had a pretty bad shoulder injury. And so I had, I had surgery before my freshman year, which took me out for about four or five months. So it really took me a long time to recover from that. Not only my inj from an injury standpoint, but you know, learning how to race again and all that. Especially you know, going into college, it was a completely different playing field. You, the Stanford men, have an incredible streak going. Twenty-eight straight Pac-10 titles. Now, last week, our poll of the week, uh, forty percent of our viewers voted that your streak would end this year. Is there some nerves on the team about that? Uh, there's certainly some nerves. You know, we had a loss in Austin Staub leaving, but. I, we're all really confident. We have a really strong team. We we still have a lot of stars left, and our depth is really what's going to carry us through Pac-10s. Uh, Cal is definitely a strong team. Zona is going to be strong, but sort of like the Cal duel meet was last week, I think it's going to be a really close Pac-10s. Were you guys pissed off about Austin Staub leaving the team? Um, you, you know, it was it was definitely it was definitely a downer, but. We're trying to use it as we've been trying to use it as motivation for you know everybody needs to score more points everybody needs to step up and fill those shoes. Can you win a the Pac-10 title and the B the NCAA title without Austin Staub? We're confident we can, or at least be in the running, um, you know, be in the mix for it. I think Austin, you know, he, he was the highest point scorer, but we have a lot of people stepping up. We have a great freshman class that can fill his shoes. Will it change the way you swim relays, what you swim, or is your plan staying the same? Um, I think it'll certainly change what I'm doing. Uh, we haven't decided yet, you know, who exactly is going to be the fly leg on our medleys. That's going to play out uh, through pack tens and obviously NCs. But I, I'm I'm confident that wherever they put me, you know, I can swim fast, and whoever's doing the back or fly leg is also going to swim fast, so we can make up for it. So you're ready for either spot. Yep. What, um, if, if your college career ended today, what was the highlight for you? Um, kind of a tough question. I'd say just, just this whole senior year, really. Um, I was fortunate enough to be voted captain and kind of, it, it's been a new role in college swimming for me. So just throughout this whole year, seeing the freshman girl and trying to help them adapt to college swimming you know, kind of putting myself in, in their shoes because I was a freshman, obviously. And I, I think just kind of seeing them grow up and seeing the team really mature um, as, as, one, as one family has been my, my highlight. What do you want to do after March? Um, I plan to swim through 2012. I haven't finalized exactly where I'm going to be swimming, um, but my plans are to take some more classes somewhere and then eventually go to med school after 2012. So you're from North Carolina originally, correct? Yep, that's correct. Do you ever think about going back to swim for uh, Swim Mac and Dave Marsh? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Um, it's def it's close to home. I think logistically it'd be it'd be pretty pretty good setup. Um, but I th for the next few weeks, you know, through Pac tens and NCs, that's really all I'm focusing on. And then I'll try to make some life plans after that. You know. Yeah, take your time with that stuff. Yeah. But you are committed. 2012, you're going to make a run at the team. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to make a run at the team. I know the backstrokes are, are really stacked events, but my fly is really coming on strong this year. Um, 
And, you know, I, I think with the success I've had short course swimming, if I can really convert that over to long course swimming, I should be in the mix to, you know, either make the team or have a, have a good time at trials. To that point, do you talk to people like Peter Marshall who were absolute studs in the short course pool but never could capture, you know, that same magic in the long course? Yeah, definitely. I talk to Peter a lot. Um, just there's so many, you know, standout backstroke alums from Stanford. I try to talk to Randall and um, Hongzi Sun was my mentor for a while. So I talk to all those guys about their experiences, any, anything they can pass on to me as I go through my final years of swimming. Yeah, I, I would say it's an understatement that there have been some good backstrokers who've yeah. come through Stanford. Yeah, probably an understatement. <laughs> say the past 30 years are peppered with uh, Olympians and national champions. Yeah. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty tough to get a school record around there. Oh, it's definitely pretty tough to get a school record in the backstroke. I, I missed the, uh, the 200 backstroke by two 100s last year. Ooh, all right. So you got something to shoot for this year. Absolutely. All right, before we go, tell us something about you that uh, the people outside of the swimming don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I play, although I'm an athlete and a scholar, I also play a lot of piano. <laughs> so oh, yeah? I try to be a well-rounded guy. Very cool. Well, Eugene, thank you so much. Good luck this week at the right. Pac-10 Championships, and uh, we'll yep. be watching. Thank you. Appreciate it, Peter. All right, that's Eugene Godso joining us from Stanford, and that is it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.